I'm Brian Van from SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new Knox Handroid V14 gloves, $269.95. They're available in sizes that range from extra small through 3XL. Colors available are the red that you see here. There's an all-black, a black-white, as well as a white version. Sizing. I normally wear a 2X in most common gloves out there. I have on a 2X right now in the Handroid V14 and the fit is perfect. Part of this new CE standard, which we're going to talk about more in a minute, also mandates certain uniformities in the fit pattern and boy did that pay dividends. The glove fit good before, but now for me, the 2X is a true 2X and it fits perfect. Remember, no restocking fees. You order the gloves, they don't meet your expectation for any reason. You follow a couple simple rules, you avoid all the fees. Free shipping for any order over $40 to the lower 48 United States with really affordable international shipping rates. The Handroid. Who is this glove right for? This is right for a road racer at any level, from MotoGP to club racing. It's right for a track day rider who's looking to protect some of their most valuable assets, which are their hands. Street rider who wants the utmost in protection, it's going to be right for you too. Essentially, any rider looking for a leather full gauntlet glove and seeking a high level of protection, the Handroid is going to be right for you. Let's talk about this new CE standard, okay? It is very, very stringent. This glove was the first certified to PREN 13594-2012. What do they test for? They test for just about everything. The heel of the palm has to be able to take abrasion for a certain number of seconds to pass. They're going to try and pull seams apart on the glove or pull the material apart on the glove itself. They're going to drop blades on the glove to see if it pierces in any way, shape, or form. They're also going to test all the impact protectors on the glove. They cannot break during the test. They cannot create further harm or pierce the glove itself. Very stringent there as well. Two tests that are, are very interesting. Number one is going to be the dexterity test. They have to test the gloves to make sure it does not hinder the dexterity so you're able to control the motorcycle properly. So you have to have a certain amount of feel. You lose feel, you lose safety. It's very simple. And the restraint test. What they're going to do is they put this on the hand of a mannequin, right? And they try to pull it off. The glove comes off, that's catastrophic without question. This glove passes those standards with flying colors. Knox is a company that was founded on protection. They began with back protectors, one of the first, if not the first company ever to produce a back protector many, many years ago, over 30 years ago. From then to now, their product range has expanded to include the gloves about five seasons ago. So it's of no surprise that they would be the first company to chase after that first very difficult to achieve certification with the Handroid. Let's talk about the glove. First off, it's going to be the exoskeleton. That's what everybody sees first. Your eyes are drawn right to it. These are flexible plastic pieces. They're segmented so they move with you. They slide in and out of this pod here that protects the back of the hand. These enhance impact as well as abrasion resistance, right? You don't even notice they're there. You swear you're going to lose dexterity, but I've had multiple pairs. We've got multiple racers sponsored with these. Everybody who's owned them loves the gloves at the end of the day. Tons of protection built here, more than you'll find with any other full gauntlet glove. Protection for the knuckles, once again. You've got all the plastic hardware on the outside. Behind that is gel armor to absorb the impact. Got a tunnel system here. As I wrap my fingers around the bars, you can see the back of the hand protector. It just moves without any restriction, which is important. End of the ulna is protected with these two big plastic sliders on both sides. They are, do not get in the way whatsoever. The gauntlet is large enough. It goes over the sleeve of a jacket or a race suit without issue. Boa lacing system. That's another key feature of this glove. To release, you just pull out to dial on the fit, push it down and click away. This system has also proven itself over many seasons. Thousands of these gloves have been sold at this point. Proven technology, it's worked great. 
Here's the real magic with this glove when it comes to protection. This is something that Knox invented many years ago. The SPS system. These are plastic sliders on the palm of the glove. The reasons they're there are really pretty simple. They're very important. Most of us, in the event of a crash, we're going to put our hands out to brace impacts. Just an instinct, right? Nothing you can do about that. It happens. With a standard glove with a leather and or textile palm, that palm can grab the pavement. It'll transmit energy into your wrist, possibly break a scaphoid, elbow, shoulder, so it could injure one of those areas. It could also grab and begin to tumble. When you crash, tumbling hurts. It's not a lot of fun. Sliding is really what you want to have happen. The worst thing it could do is pull the seams of the glove apart and then you've got your naked skin on the pavement, which would also be no fun. The plastic slides much easier than leather. And you'll note the shape of this, how it travels up the side of the palm. You've even got plastic here on the pinky that's rolled over the edge. You see as I put my hand on the table, that's all plastic that's sliding. And it slides very easy. So it's going to help to prevent all those nasty things that we talked about. The glove's been on the market for a number of years. This is the latest, most significant revision. It's proven itself to do a very, very good job. I would say, in my opinion at this point, there's no other full gauntlet glove out there, regardless of price, that is proven to do a better job at the end of the day than the Handroid. Certainly there's going to be accidents where the glove can just be overcome. It's that way with any glove. But with that type of accident, I'll tell you right now, personally, there's no glove I'd rather be riding in during a catastrophic wreck that could damage your hand than this one, because I think it does the best when it comes to protecting the rider. Kangaroo poem for feel. We've got an overlay here in the high wear area to keep the service life of the glove high. Safety strap at the wrist. We already showed you the bow lacing system up here at the gauntlet. Tons of protection there. Over these fingertips, we have some energy managing foam stitched underneath. Got some perforations here to drive air in. Going to get a little air intake here too in the knuckle area, protecting the side of the thumb. You're going to have the exoskeleton, the energy managing foam here at the tip. Closing thoughts on this. This is the glove that I ride in. I've got other gloves I ride in too, but when I'm really going to go out there and go after and take some chances, this is the glove that I'm reaching for. I've crashed in them. They've worked great. They've lasted a long time. We really have a lot of confidence in this product. We have a lot of confidence in Knox. Remember, it's a company that was founded not on apparel and design style and fashion it was founded on safety 30 some years ago and these gloves were the largest innovation that we've ever seen to glove safety this is the all-new knox v14 and